a very good morning and om shanti to all of you listeners welcome back to your own channel see the soul that reflects within for those who are listening to this for the first time for you there is a link in instagram and there's a link in facebook go on to this link it will take you to the channel seek out for the playlist will you will get to see yoga sins you'll get to see depression talks you'll get to see about how to do chair exercises diet plans sleep patterns everything is mentioned over there and if you like any of those if you feel that somebody needs them do share it with them so let's go ahead with today's blessing 227th day of a godly blessing let's see what does papa have to say papa says may you have a form of subtle light there are different forms which we have we just see a cross physical form when we look at us in the mirror but god has said that you have a subtle form one is a soul form which is non physical then your physical form comes and then comes your subtle or the aura body everybody has got that thing so that body is the subtle light and pass your paper at the time of destruction now we all talk about destruction in different religions but we say oh, it's very far away there's a lot of time left god has shown us the signs we can already see practical living life signs that it is very close by most of the people are nowadays creating or directing movies which are showing the end of days and be noticing that most of the people are talking about it's very difficult this kaliyug has become very difficult to survive people are getting more and more tired people are losing their jobs relationships divorce cases are increasing children are not listening to their parents package food which has been mentioned about in many cultures even the mayan cultures as you mentioned about skyscrapers have been mentioned people have all the wealth but they don't have the wealth of peace and happiness and love in their life relations are no longer together relations are all about what did you give to me for what i did for you and many more things we'll explore that later on so let's get into the details of what baba has to say in order to pass the paper at the time of destruction and to face all adverse situations now what adverse situations will come five elements are impure so five elements will want to rearrange <coughs> realign themselves in their original purest form so earthquakes tsunamis there'll be heavy rains extremely heavy rains which you have not even seen in your lifetime all those things will happen very fierce winds will be there so that is what is known as destruction then there will be destruction in the form of nuclear wars which is a third world war will be there war in which people won't be going to fight but they will be all automatically done yes while sitting in your room you'll be able to destroy some of the country which you seeing already biological war field will be there now that time earning money getting food and many more things religious wars will all be coming up you saw during the time of covid every religion was blaming the other religion muslims were being blamed by the hindus and this were being blamed by the christians all that was happening what is that yes that is a sign of what is the state of mind of people how much are they in control of their emotions all that will be there so in that kind of scenario much more than what we have faced in covid how will our state of mind be that's what baba wants us to improve that is a paper at the time of destruction test paper and to face all adverse situation be one with a subtle form of light we'll be in the subtle form of light in the form of angel only when we are detached from the things around us when we have learned of practice being detached from my physical attributes my physical attainments physical achievements physical physical name fame everything i have slowly slowly over a period of time through meditation power i have detached myself off then i'll be in the form of a light like an angel and then it will be easy to leave the body otherwise if we are in too deep attachments to things and people and whatever we have accomplished in our life it will be very difficult to leave that at the last moment it will be difficult for the soul to leave the body immediately so that is what god is teaching us at brahma kumaris the baba says when you become a mobile lighthouse your physical form will not be visible so when we are thinking about cross worldly things we are thinking about our body also other people will see that because that's what you're sending out in, in the form of vibrations if you're focusing too much on your physical features people will want to see how you look what you look what you do 
they'll comment upon your physical features. If you become more subtle, less of body conscious, people won't notice your physical attributes or your physical achievements or physical wealth, right? That is what God says. You remove your impure vibrations, attachments to things, people won't notice that. So automatically there won't be any jealousy, there won't be any comparison, competition with you. And you'll be light. You'll be getting blessings from people. You'll make other people lighter also. That is the light God wants us to become. When you become a mobile lighthouse, your physical form will not be visible. They won't be focusing on your physical attributes. It will be as though you wear a costume to play your part and that as soon as you finish your part, you take it off. Physical costume is this. I, the soul, have come on this earth to work through this. Not to beautify this physical body. Not to portray myself on the basis of this physical body. This is a temporary thing, right? I am a soul walking through this physical body, doing my karmas. I'll have to leave this body. This is not me. Your physical body is not you. This is just an instrument to do karma. And then I, the soul, you, the soul, we'll all leave back. So God is saying, stay in that kind of state throughout the day. Practice being in that kind of state. Then you'll be light. So if you, it will be as though you wear a costume. Wear a costume, play your part. And that as soon as you finish your part, you take it off just like going to the office. You wear a dress, when you get back, you come back into your original dress. This is the original dress. Or our body is the original dress. So Baba says, put it on in a second and then take it off in a second. That is become detached. I do karma with my hands, legs. You cook something at your home as a wife. I'm getting run through this body. I did it. I made it. No. That is wrong. I'm getting it done through this body. A big difference. You'll be detached. So, or rather say, God is making me do through this body even better. That is much more better. I'm cooking it for God, even though God doesn't eat it, obviously. But it's like a form of a feeling or an emotion. Or you have some respect for God. You're doing it for God, so it won't feel you're doing it for your husband, doing it for your wife, doing it for your family members, and you get tired doing it. How much do I have to do for them? No, I'm doing it for God. God is making me do through this body. Simpler, lighter. You'll become lighter. So, Baba says... When you have this practice, this practice, others who see you will see that you are wearing a costume of light and that light is your decoration. You'll be light. People will see you lighter. People won't see your cross, physical form. Do you doing karmas? How you move? What do you say? What do you think? How you look? People won't have that and they'll only see your lighter form. That's what we want. That's what is the meaning of getting detached from worldly attachments. So, more about it is at Brahma Kumari Center. You can come and learn this art of detachment and how to become a lighthouse and how to be light in a mind. I leave you with this. Have a blessed day. Stay healthy. Stay fit. Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.